Hi, it's Chris and Betsy, and today we'd like to invite you to join us as we go and check out the Galveston Railroad Museum. Now, we didn't actually ride the train to get into the museum to see the museum. It's actually part of the museum. We entered through the old Railway Express building from the parking lot and entered a whole different world of transportation. Yeah, we don't do passenger trains anymore, at least not on the grand scale it used to be. But they have four tracks that hold rolling stock, rolling stock being all the engines and cars, and there was a huge variety of engines, all kinds of cars. Shoot, they even had a railway cat hanging out in the cattle car. We did get to climb onto a couple of the cars, though. Uh, one of them we explored. Here we go. In case you're wondering how they used to cook in a train, here you go, folks. Yeah. Too short. Okay. Hmm. Look at this. Check some stuff. And as you can see, the furniture has changed a bit over the years as they've restored and uh, put this car back to use. And what would a railroad museum be without a caboose? Here's another caboose, and this one's been kind of restored a bit. Fresh, fresher paint anyway. You can see where some of the bunks were. Some of the basic little seating areas. Of course, they had the old stove to heat the place. Grab a cup of coffee here. It's an Atchison, Topeka, Santa Fe. It survived Hurricane Ike in 2008. Zoom in on that a bit. That'd be awesome seating up there. See the whole length of the train. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to climb the rail up there. While it's not roped off, it's like, huh. Oh. Yes, sometimes I am a wimp, and that's okay. And in addition to all that non rolling rolling stock, they have some actively rolling rolling stock. Number 1983 is a uh, GE diesel electric little switch engine that uh, they use for just a short little ride so you can experience rail. And we got to experience it the engineer. Now it's a little loud so you're gonna have a little trouble hearing some of the conversation, but give me a feel what it's like inside the train engine.
got a quick peek under the hood of uh, that little number, 1983. Well, after we finished that little ride, we made our way back through across the tracks to get up to the main depot. So many cars and exhibits and so little time. We're really looking forward to going back so we can take it all in. But one of the neat things was the old depot. They actually restored the old waiting room a bit. Brought in some of the old benches. The statues made it just kind of cool. They even have a bank of old pay phones that you can go in. And each pay phone has a different historic recording you can listen to. And the new stand has been converted into the gift shop for the museum. Very nice, super friendly folks. Well worth the visit. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this peek at the Galveston Railroad Museum. I do have more information down below in the description. Hope you check that out. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. We hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. Safe travels to you. And who knows, as we go, maybe we'll see you on the road. Take care.